All right, we're gonna do a little test fire on the little Star 22, see how she runs. Oh. Got a few too many in the magazine. I think the neighbor's shooting some Tannerite. Alright guys, I think I would figured I would show y'all well, another little project I'm fixing to start working on. This is the Star Type F. Um, for those of you who do not know, this is one of those guns that the barrel is fixed and the slide actually moves off of it. I got this gun pretty, pretty reasonable. Um, a lady had this one. Actually, a family member of mine had this one. Uh, she only wanted 75 bucks for it because it was jamming. It was just jam, 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 jam. And uh, I cleaned it up. Works really well now. It'll fire. It does have a 10 round magazine. 22 long rifle. It's a great little plinker. Uh, but when I got it, it did not have a sight on it. It's something neat, interesting you probably don't see on a lot of these and I don't know if this is a factory um, it looks like with the way the slides cut out and everything that it's a factory job I haven't seen I have seen this modification come on the longer uh, 6 inch 8 inch barrel um, target models um, but it actually has a hammer block it's just a cut out wheel you can turn sideways like that and it won't let the hammer come anywhere near firing pin I guess that was a pre firing pin block but when I bought this thing it didn't have no sight on it so all you had was that little rudimentary front sight not that you're gonna be taking long shots with this gun anyways but this gun was made back in the 50s and 60s uh, some maybe even before then and they come in all various different models but um this one didn't have any sights on it and I looked everywhere looked everywhere uh, it's got a dovetail back here and I was going to just get a, a dovetail sight and just fit it in there and then shape it down looked everywhere couldn't find a direct replacement this uh inserts are all long out of date to order so I actually found this one for a target model um, and ordered it if you see it's a little bit longer but I might take and shape this all down because eventually I'm probably going to refinish this gun anyways but it does have a little bit of problem if you see the safety it doesn't really lock in good when it does the, it has a just a manual safety that won't let the slide move pull it down but if you try and put the safety on with the hammer back it's still going to fire so the only safe way to carry it with a hammer open would be to roll that over it's really instinctive you pull the hammer over and it just kicks out of the way thought that was a neat little gun we're going to take it apart See, I think that the, the spring is probably weak, or it might have a broken ear or something on this little star. And see if we can't get her working a little bit better. Shoots fun. This is one of the guns that I, anytime we have some get togethers, people shoot, they just love to shoot that one because it just chugs away, chugs away. Got a little plastic, almost like a bake light hammer. Uh, this is the little small one. It's like a four inch barrel. If we can see, let's show you. You know 
how it is on the bench. You've always got more stuff than you'll ever need. Yeah, just a little over a four and an eighth inch barrel. I'd probably classify that as a four inch barrel. Ten round magazine. But it's a neat little gun. I figured I'd share it with you. Uh, we'll get out there and get some range time with it as soon as I make it out to the range and we'll get some videos of it. Very, very fun gun to shoot. Don't be afraid of these old firearms, guys. You know, everybody has to go buy the latest and greatest. Some of these old war horses like this are just, they'll last and last and last. Alright, I'm gone.